Hey guys, Mars Lincoln here bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video and so today our boy finally has his glow up. We have the easy A for the Tech Karoli. Uh, I did link level this guy ages ago just for a joke because I think his design is really cool. I was a big fan of the Fusions game. I always liked the design of Karoli. So mine was already fully link level 10. Unfortunately, he's one of these older units that got shafted and even though he has an awakening, he only has six links instead of seven. He also awakened from Broly Dokkan Fest event medals, but only has Shattering the Limit instead of Fierce Battle, which is a little bit unfortunate, but post Easy A, uh, he's definitely looking pretty good. He does Supreme Damage with a high chance to stun on his super attack, so that's going to be useful for Super Battle Road. Once I've done all the showcases for the individual fusions, I want to take all four of them onto a fusion team into Extreme Super Battle Road, and so that stun chance is definitely going to be very useful, but... His passive is very basic and straightforward, but with some big numbers. So, attack and defense 260%. It's pretty good. Launches an additional attack that has a great chance of becoming a super. So, 70% chance to get an additional super attack. And he gets an additional 59% attack when the target enemy is stunned. So, obviously, that's going to be really good for something like Super Battle Road, where if he stuns them with the first super and then additional supers, he's going to get that attack buff. So... We're using him on the crossover team. Uh, this Super Saiyan 3 Gohan is actually one of his better link partners. Because Berserker is not a link that we're going to get active very often. Uh, we do have Fused Fighter with like Super Saiyan 4 Vegito if we end up doing this in rotation like this with Vegito in slot 3 when he's on the turn. Unfortunately, Karoli was only on turn 2 and uh, we ended up almost killing Raditz because uh, we're not going to get a chance to see like the additional super attack or anything here, unfortunately. But... We'll just go ahead and do this, just like the uh, Barlot video where I brought Super Saiyan 4 Bardock to be on the other rotation. I thought I might as well bring Super Saiyan 4 Broly. So 2.7 with just the four links and no support. I feel like he's not going to put out crazy high attack stat numbers, but obviously one of his big utility uh, abilities and that what's going to make him so useful is that stun chance and then getting the additional super uh, with the chance to stun. Um, sorry, with the extra attack buff if the enemy did get stunned. Not, of course, you know, as well as the fact that his additional super would have a chance to stun if the first one didn't. So, if you give him a decent amount of additional in the hidden potential system, there is the possibility that he could triple super. So, Super Saiyan 4 Vegito not countering a super again. He did that in the Barlog video as well. <laughs> uh, Supreme Kaya time, we get the seal, get the uh, raised defense for her. Super Saiyan 4 Vegito on the end here. We're obviously running dub double Super Saiyan 4 Vegito lead so we can have just a full crossover team. Because um, I want to bring, you know, support units like this. Trunks is going to work really well. Um, but let's see. He doesn't pick up any extra links from him. Um, so I guess we probably should just put him in slot 1. Because if Gohan pops off in slot 1, he would probably just kill Nappa here. So let's go ahead and do this. Uh, I'll grab these for you, and then we'll just grab this for you. So, let's see what he is looking like here. 3 million attack stats. That's not too bad, considering he's going to have a 70% chance to additional super. So, there you go. 2, 3 million attack stats. Uh, pretty solid, and he finishes off Nappa. So, not too bad. I didn't look specifically at what his defense was. I did bring up the menu, so those of you... Uh, who were paying attention will have seen it, but I was not. So we'll make sure we check that out on the next turn. Uh, we've got Super Saiyan 4 Broly and Vegito now with support from Supreme Kai. So this should be a pretty solid turn. Vegito still able to tank double digits without super attacking. So obviously he raises his defense on Super. Super Saiyan 4 Broly. No one really talks about anymore because obviously he's very limited to his teams. But, I mean, 4.65 million attack stat from him. And he's potentially going to do that three times. Uh, of course, we're going to get bad RNG on this turn. And he only gets one additional normal. But there you go. That is the problem. He's a unit very much like Physical Vegito Blue. Where on his best turns, he looks absolutely insane. And then on his worst turns, he doesn't really look that great. But, obviously, one thing that's going to be super fun uh, for the future is when... Um, the Super Saiyan 4's Awaken from the previous uh, hero celebration, like from the year before last, because then that Super Saiyan 4 team is going to get a lot more interesting. So I don't want, let me double check Gohan's passive here. I don't want to get too many orbs and make him too powerful. So 
Yeah, so he gets extra attack and defense with three orbs, and then he gets the crit chance with, was it five? So I don't want to get five orbs, because I don't want him to crit. But, unfortunately, we can get three. Will he take out Vegeta? If he doesn't crit, then he shouldn't do, right, with the type disadvantage. So we're getting support from Super Saiyan 4 Vegito. We've got every link active except for Berserker. He's at 195k defense, which is okay, but he doesn't raise defense on Super or anything like that. So his defense is not going to get any higher than that. And nowadays, I feel like, for most people, like, 200k defense is, like, the minimum baseline. Like, if we took him into any of the more difficult content, like, few, like when we try out Fusion's ESBR, 200k defense is not really enough to be able to tank well against even, like, normal attacks. So, 3 million attack stat, we get the crit and just finish him off. So, pretty decent. Obviously getting that support from Vegito as well. So Karoli seems like he could be pretty interesting. Obviously in this particular event, because we can't stun, we're never going to see him attacking on that turn where he gets the extra attack percentage buff because the enemy is not going to be stunned. So that is something that we will have to wait until we do see him in uh, Super Battle Road to see what that attack stat is going to look like. But it's a pretty nice buff. So he's going to jump with support. He's at like 3 million. He's easily going to jump to like 4, 4.5. Because whilst it is a above 50% like buff, remember that's based on like start of turn um, stats without all of the support factored in. But although maybe because it's on the additional super, it will be interesting to see how that works. But he should be hitting at least like 4.5, maybe even close to 5 million on that turn. So that is going to be very interesting. The support from Supreme Kai, yeah, still 197. He's still not breaking 200k defense, which is a little bit disappointing to be honest. But yeah, we'll let him go ahead and finish off Turles here. So I could see him having some use. Like Fusion's ESBR is a stage that was very difficult. Uh, but obviously got a lot easier with the release of some of the more recent units. Like the Tech LR Gogeta, the AGL Gotenks with the AoE Super with all the stuns. Like that team is uh, very, very strong now. So that stage is not as difficult as it once was. Um, so, But this guy definitely would be helpful for that if you still haven't beaten that stage. He just has a lot of uh, issues that, unfortunately, he's been saddled with. Like, you know, only having six links, only having Shattering the Limit. He doesn't raise defense on Super Attack or anything like that. So, really, he's only going to be a useful consideration, I think, in events where you can stun. Um, or, you know, in an event or, say, a mission for an EZA or something like that where you want to use a fusion team and then... You've got your, like, five main units, and then you don't really have anyone else to choose from for the last slot. Then he's not going to be bad on the team. But I don't know the order I'm going to release them all, but at this point, I've already recorded the Barlot video. And um, in his, like, even in, like, an average turn situation, I feel like he's looking way better than this Karoli. So uh, let's see what happens here if we go up against the uh, type disadvantage attacks. Is this going to be... Uh is this just going to be a game over for us? Because on this turn, we're getting the 40% support from Trunks. So, we're still unable to break 200k defense, though. So, what do we take here from normal attacks? We still take double digits from normals. That's not too bad. Because we're getting near to the end of this Infinite Dragon Ball history stage. So, that's not the worst. But, yeah, like a super from Paragus would definitely do a lot of damage to this Karoli. Uh, just under 3.1 million attack here. Um, he should finish him off even if we don't get the crit. So, I mean, he's definitely a solid unit. He's not terrible, but it's a real shame because he definitely he has the best sticker effect, I think, by far, of the uh, Fusion's Awakenings. Because the Pandel and the Bullpan one are pretty awful. They, don't, they barely have an effect at all. Whereas the um, Barlot one is, like, okay. But Karoli's one is awesome with, like, all of these uh, crazy effects. Looks really, really good. But unfortunately, in terms of how well he actually performs, he does seem quite average, which is a bit of a shame. So, for the final turn, even though he's not a nuker, we're going to do the same thing we did for the uh, Barlot video. And go ahead and pop one of those orb-changing items that gives you the massive attack buff. Um, wow, Super Saiyan 4 Vegito has been super attacked three times in this run and not counted a super. 50% chance, eh? 50% chance to counter and he hasn't done it once. <laughs> so Super Saiyan 4 Broly, getting the additional super attacks here. 
And then Supreme Kai of Time, massively raising her defense on Super. Could she double Super here? When she double Supers, her defense is like ridiculously high. Uh, we know we're not going to get Supered, so she's fine. All right, so let's go ahead and we'll go on win here. I feel like he won't if we get like one all, right? So let's do this and then we'll go ahead and pop this bad boy. What are we going to get here? Well, not bad. If I use it again, will it change the STR ones? Change the STR ones. It did not. Wonderful. So we can only get 10 orbs. <laughs> I hate it when it does that because that second one literally had no effect, which is very unfortunate. But we'll go ahead and grab those and then we'll grab these. So Gohan shouldn't finish him off here because we only got one orb. So he's not getting any of the buffs from his passive. He's still got 4 million attacks that though. Oof. Shouldn't be enough though, I don't think. Okay, good. Don't additional? Of course he does. <laughs> Are you actually kidding me? <laughs> Alright, well, we've got one of those items left. I guess we'll try... Oh, no, we don't, because we used them both. Wow, GG. What great RNG for the uh, the showcase. You love to see it. That's both the uh, Barlot showcase and this showcase now, where a double super in slot one has caused us to not get to see the attack from uh, the unit that we're trying to showcase. So that's always fun. <laughs> So we'll guess we'll uh, we'll wait for this next turn to be the last turn for him. So Super Saiyan 4 Vegito starting to take a bit of damage now because we've got type disadvantage and it's obviously pre-super. He's not the best option for a slot 1 unit, but on this rotation with him and Super Saiyan 4 Broly, he kind of has to be the slot 1 unit because Broly gets basically all of his stats like on super attack. So kind of needs to be in slot 1 here, but nice attack stat from Broly. Double super. Can we get the triple super turn here? Yeah, Super Saiyan 4 Broly versus Legendary Super Saiyan Broly. You get the additional normal, 500k, half a mil off a crit, it's not too bad. And then uh, this STR Super Saiyan 2 Trunks is so very impressive. Great unit to bring to support uh, these Fusions units on these showcases because he's providing 40% support. Look at that, only 88k from a Super from him. So that is enough, uh, however, to get the... Um... Oh, we're not getting any extra links from you, are we? So, might as well do this. Can I connect any of those other blues down if I do this? Will that rainbow one come down? Yes, there we go. So, we get eight orbs for you. So, we'll have this as the final turn for uh, Caroli. Like I say, I think he's pretty solid, but nothing too crazy. Yeah, 3.1. So, we've seen average of around 3 million attacks that. He's unfortunately only averaging just under 200k defense. And there's that guaranteed additional normal. But we did not get the great chance for it to be a super attack. So, yeah, man. I don't know. He's probably, like, the coolest design one out of all of them. And, like I say, he has the coolest sticker effect. But, man, I feel like Barlot just very easily outclasses him. Which is a little bit unfortunate. But it is what it is. So... There you go. That is the showcase for the Rainbow Full Level 10 Links Caroli. Let me know what you guys think of him down below in the comment section. Unfortunately, I think I could probably see myself using Barlot on teams for certain things, depending on what team is required. But unfortunately, Caroli seems like one of those units that I would only use basically just out of stubbornness because I think he's cool. So <laughs> you guys will have to let me know what you think down below in the comment section. And, uh, yeah, we'll see what the next ones are looking like. So, that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been the Master Ningen. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out the links down below for the Discord and the merch store. And I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.